welcome welcome everyone i'm so happy to have you back again today we are finding ourselves here at the middletown place uh which used to be a rice plantation and uh it has one of the oldest landscape garden in the united states and uh here we are we're gonna have uh, some time here we're gonna check and see what they have left from the time where uh, slave people used to be here I'm so happy to have you back and uh, uh -huh. a luxury car, an SUV, and a sports car. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so this been here for all this, this time? Well, they, they did not belong to this plantation. Okay. But they were brought in by other plantations. Oh, this okay. one, uh, this fancy one, was okay. actually found at Running Bee, which is maybe five miles down the road. Okay. And it was owned by the Middletons at one time. Oh. But it wasn't on this plantation. Okay. But they're all like mid 1800s carriages. Yeah. So that's that's what they used for transport, right? Yes. That's what they used to. Yeah, actually, this fancy one called yeah. the Brome. Mm -hmm. It was uh, used as a taxi cab almost worldwide. Oh. In the late 1800s, early 1900s. Okay. And I got the drawings from the original manufacturer of that in England. Really? And they look exactly like that. Oh. They, co they copied it worldwide. Oh, okay. So they're from England or they were made here? Actually, this one was designed in England by a guy named Lord Brown. Okay. And it was made by the Andrew J. Joyce Company in Washington, D.C. Oh, okay. In the 1800s. Okay. But it looks exactly like the original. Same colors, same materials, everything. Wow. That's nice. What about this one? This is an SUV. This is, well, this is a Surrey, okay? You'll notice that this one and the one over, here, over there, they have leaf springs as a, as a suspension system okay. on the front axle and rear yeah, axle. Yeah, yeah. This one has a board that ties the front wheels to the back wheels. Oh. It has two boards. And it gives yeah. a nice, comfortable ride. It's very springy. Okay. And that one also has leaf springs. That's so is this back. for the kids or for just... Actually, that was the... the the lady of the house, that was that was the governess's cart. Oh, okay. Actually, the ladies of the house on the plantation, they ran the plantation pretty much. Okay. Because the men were always gone. Oh. They, they were businessmen. Okay. So they spent their time in places like Atlanta and Baltimore and Washington. And okay. So they would travel with those? Or they would well, the lady in the, in the, of the house yeah. would put her kids in that in the morning and ride it around the plantation to see if everything was going okay. Okay. And if it wasn't, she would tell the overseer or there, the driver. There is, there is no. nothing left here as... Uh, Except the houses. Where are the houses? Well, the house. Oh, the, the big house. Yeah. So that's the only thing left. And these, these two. These two? Yeah. What are they? Well, they, this whole place was rebuilt in the 1930s. Okay. And that used to be a housekeeper's house. And okay. that used to be a groundskeeper's house. Oh, I see. So that's that's original though. Well, it's from the 30s. Yes. Before the 30s, they were all wood frame. All these buildings were wood frame. Oh. Okay. Well, this house here, as uh, they just told us, was built in the 30s. And it was a house of a slave who was working in the big house so they built this for her you have this one right here and you have another one next to it but it's closed we cannot get in they said here do not enter so we are not allowed to get inside but this is pretty much what is remaining here because everything else were burned to the ground so they do not really have anything else left here but this so it's a it's a big money plantation it is and now it's just a farm it is not a plantation anymore it's just a farm goes all over this place all over here and it just looks beautiful 
and you have animals here. We're gonna come right back here, but let's go down this way because Well, they say there is uh, two slaves who are buried here down the road. So we're gonna take this road right here. We're gonna go pay our respect to them. And then we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue right after that. Um, go find this burial ground. Wherever they bury them. Okay, I think it's here. It's here. Um, so here remains. We slave people. See people come here, they leave the coins and they small gifts I can't get closer because then I'm gonna have to walk I don't want to I don't want to step on I don't want to step on the grave because they're down here so they, they stay living here okay let me go let me turn around so I don't step on the grave Well, may your soul keep resting in peace until the Lord comes back and gets you out of here. Well, this plantation now has become a farm. As I can see this. Goats. Hey, buddy. What's up? Come on. Come say hi. Yeah. Hey. Well, good morning. How, good afternoon, whichever it is. How are we doing? Good to have you here today. Good. Um, here in the, uh, are you taking lots of pictures? Uh, just on one. Oh, okay, good. Well, I wasn't sure if you were a, 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 an official photographer. No, I'm not. Somebody who enjoyed the story. And, I'm just enjoying the story. Okay, great. Well, we uh, our job out here, myself and my fellow crafters, is recreating history. Okay. Uh, doing the kind of things once done when this was a working plantation. Okay. Uh, and what I do... Uh, I do a lot of coopering, uh, which as you may know, is making barrels and buckets, uh, getting pieces of wood to fit around in a circle to okay. form a container. Uh, what's importantly done here for the shipping and handling of rice, you know, rice was the major crop around here. Okay. And we shipped in barrels like one over here with a wall. That taller barrel there that has wooden hoops on it, instead of metal, will save money uh, because rice is a dry product like sugar and tobacco. Okay. Uh, now, is that motion picture or still? This? Yeah. No. They, they don't want mo movies being taken out here. Uh, the management is that still pictures are fine, but they don't want people taking movies of what we're talking about and doing. Okay. Motion pictures, so, so no, no movies, yes, uh, no videos. Uh, well, we are back out of uh, this place. Um, they didn't want us to film inside, so we're going to respect that. We, we respected it. That's why we stopped um, filming. Well, well, this is a uh, one of the means of transportation he used to transport uh, 
people and goods because the plantation it was closer to the water and they didn't have many means of transportation. So they had these right here as a meaning of transportation. You can see how old this is and it's broken on the it's broken inside of it. But yes. Hey, how we doing? Alright. Welcome to the blacksmith shop. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm making it. Well, is there anything original here from the time uh, the enslaved people were here? See this right oh. here? These are uh, farm tools. Okay. Hose, shovel, the hay fork. Those are all 150 to 200 years old. Oh, really? These right here for about the 1850s. These up here are from the 1820s. Oh, wow. Okay. But the rest of the shop is basically a replica, but it's it's what it looked like okay. at the time. But in terms of what do we have this old, mm -hmm. original pieces, those right there. Okay. For God gave him his sign on the wings of a dove, on the wings of a snow white dove. God sent down his pure Jesus, our Savior, came to earth one day. He was born in a stable, in a manger of hay. Though here rejected, but not from above. For God gave us his sign on the wings of a dove, on the wings of a snow. God sends down his pure okay. sweet love. Huh. What, what is this for? The running stone? This is a grind, corn grinder. Okay. That, that's my show and tell book. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Put corn in here. And these, this is a bedstone, this is the running stone. Well, the, these held, are held together by a spindle inside, mm -hmm. but there's enough clearance between this stone and the spindle to feed corn into this crevice from the inside. Okay. Now, the stones are cut like you see the one against the wall, flipped over, yes. okay? So it not only forces the corn out, it also grinds it. The first mm -hmm. time through, it's very coarse. It's like cracked corn. But after about five cycles, you actually get flour. Oh. Okay. This was the job of about a 15-year-old female slave. Wow. Try to turn that. Okay. Can you hold this one? Sure, sure. I'll, I'll let you turn it, yes. and I'll watch yes. on the camera. Wow. <laughs> wow. And it was... Wow. Little old me turned that. So a 15 year old slave. <laughs> 15 year old female. 15 year old female slave used to do this. Right? Yep. Wow. Now, wow. when there's corn in it, corn has oil. Oh. Okay. okay. So it turns a little bit easier when there's corn in there. Okay. <laughs> this is the shop where they used to make textile. They used to make clothes, you can see here. This is how they used to do it. You can see the remains of the tools they were using to do it. And you can see here, you 
and this is the cotton. Well, we are here at the uh, Eliza's house. Uh, this house was occupied by Ned and Chloe after the Civil War. Uh, unlike any other slaves, these two, uh, this married couple decided to come back and stay here. So this is what it would look like inside. So they stay here after the emancipation. Oh, those faces, man. This is the house. But not some of the house. For God gave us the look. They have a couple of things remaining. Please do not climb. Okay. So those are the chairs where our brothers and sisters. sitting on they have some cotton here and a little broom this is typical for Africa we, we used to have bills we used to sweep houses in Africa so yeah this is the bed oh man and they have the little cross over there Well, this plantation is a little bit different. It's different from uh, all other plantations we've been to so far. It's just different. Um, they don't really have much left from from the time. Many stuff here were broken, and they really do not have much. But it was a pleasure coming here, and. Uh, taking it off the list let's see if they got anything else here if not I think uh, that will be it <laughs>